Hi, it's Bob here. We're going to do a uh, little demonstration on uh, electrical effect and magnetic fields. It was I did I did show you how electric fields can produce an electric current in a closed circuit. I'm just going to go over it again. I have two layers of fine turned wire on this spool. It's got two terminals here at the one end. I'm just using this as a <clears throat> as a holder. That's all it's on there for. And by the way, the tube is hollow. As you can see, light through it. I know I did almost I did the exact same thing just a short time ago on the last video. This is good. I'm going to do a little, go a little, a few steps further here. All right, I have it hooked up to the multimeter in front of us. I'm going to turn the multimeter on to 200 millivolts because we don't have a big system here, so we're not going to produce a lot of current. But this is a magnet here. It's just one of those little telescoping magnets and that mechanics and other people use for picking up things. And uh, as you can see, oh, that's aluminum. <laughs> that, here's a piece of steel. Here's a steel rod. It does a fine job. Here's a little, little gizmo here. As you can see, it's a fairly strong magnet for its size. You don't need to have it extended. Okay, I'm just going to... You notice it's not showing negative on that side as I see the induced current. The faster you do it, the more you get. And it reverses as you bring it back. So I just wanted to show you that how the magnetic field cuts through the copper lines. causes the flux and that's one way is one polarity and you reverse it it's the other and that it's not showing much because it's a pretty small coil for a pretty small operation got three milliamps tops all right now I'm going to use the same coil this is the whole purpose of this. Same coil you saw before. I'm going to leave it hooked up exactly the same. Now, we don't need the meter. We're going to insert this, this steel rod. We're going to set it in the hollow tube that the fine windings are wrapped around. And now we're going to take, well, I'm going to show you two ways. We're going to take, we're going to produce electromagnet from electricity. Remember the other, we were making electricity from a magnet. I just, the reason I'm doing all this is to show you the correlation of how electric fields and magnetic fields are, are tied together. That's why they call it electromagnetic effect. This is the same principle, the Lorenz laws that enable us to do it, to give us all our industrial and household current that we use today. It's just, and that, and that is the basis of it. Okay. I'm going to set the meter off to the side. All right. Now I'm going to set this thing up. We have the rod, we have the coil, the wires hook. I'm just going to bring, I'm going to bring, I got this, this is a steel rod, just suspended. It can free to move pendulum in any direction it wants to. And I'm going to show you, first I'm going to show you, a mechanical generator. This is 
works on the same principle that I am going to show you. This this turns mechanical energy, and that means my spinning it or something spinning the shaft, producing electricity. Called a dynamo generator. And all I'm going to do is hook it up. All I have to do, and this is a pretty small generator, and it's only six volt, 18 watt. I think that's what it is. No, 18. 13 watt, so it's good for 18 amp. And uh, I'm going to ground one side to the base of the generator to the case, and the other is this is the output terminal. Now I'm going to move this just a little bit so you can see my hard work physical energy. You can still see the, uh, the main, keep your eye, keep your eye on this. This is where the action is going to take place, right here, if I can crank it fast enough. It'll at least move. If I can go fast enough, to, to this is not putting out a great deal, I'm, I, it's just, There. See there. Held. It'll stay there because soft iron core and soft. I can break it again. I produced enough electricity to create an electric magnet, even though it was momentary. Now this is only six volt, three watt. It's very small. This is a bicycle generator, by the way, for just running lights on a bicycle, and it's sitting around. Anyways, now I have a 9 volt battery, DC. We're all familiar with these. Very common. I hook one lead to one post. All I have to do is just see how quick that moves. I don't know how far. It's, it's much stronger, but this is 9 volts. Do you see? We're taking electric current, producing electric current into the circuit, and the circuit is, the coil is part of the circuit, and the magnet is inside the coil, and boom. Just because it's in the plastic sleeve, that doesn't affect the uh, electric field at all, and boom. And that is what you call electromagnetic effect, and that is what. So there you have it. Shows you that you can create magnetism with electricity, electrical current, and you can produce a magnet. Or you can produce electricity with a magnet. And producing electricity with magnetic force is the basis of all our electrical generation, mechanical, that we use in house and industry, 110, 220 on, and so forth. All generators, by the way, even though this puts out a DC current, all generators, whether it be this one or the ones in the, your local power plant, or nuclear, or coal fire, or gas fire, they're alternators. They produce AC current. These are just wired so they ground one side so it's a DC. And there's other ways to make DC, but I'm not going into that. I just wanted to show you that. So you can see that you're using the same hardware, basically the same hardware as you were for, to do both, to, to demonstrate both. You, so you can try that at home. We'll talk to you later. Bye.